I think one of the areas in which we're most ripe for breakthroughs is research on instruction. And by instruction, I mean something a little bit broader than research on teaching. Um, so I'm using the word instruction to comprise teaching, learning, relationships with the community, but essentially the, you might think of it as the core enterprise of schooling. And I find it um, interesting that although research on teaching as a field is by now about 45 years old at least, um, we still don't really have the kind of knowledge about instruction in the way that one might expect that you see in other fields that have similar research about clients or patients or people. The main thing that will make a difference for youth in schools is to understand better how schools uh, engage in the practices that can help youth learn. And I think we're at a point where we could make breakthroughs because there's been so much new learning about learning itself. I think we understand more about environments. I think that some of the policy research that's helped us understand the relations between policy initiatives and practice put us in a better position to not study instruction in such an isolated way, but to break new ground in what it would mean to do studies of instruction. I think one of the least well-developed concepts in our field, ironically, is the concept of evidence, even though we talk about it all the time. And you see that in some of the political debates and pushes and pulls in our field, but by broadening the range of people in the work and continuing to hold out for ourselves the vision of disciplined work, we could afford to be more deliberate about what we mean by evidence and what the questions are, as well as how we build arguments that are more than personal knowledge. I think that's a challenge for us going forward, but a really important agenda. I think we're perched at a moment where we could advance what's meant by education research in this country. I think that given the fact that education and its quality have always been on Americans' minds and on policymakers' minds, there is a way in which they're in the limelight right now that often sounds very critical and uninformed, and yet the fact that more people than ever have been concerned with the quality of America's schools and the outcomes for youth, both pre-K, uh, at K through 12, in higher ed, means that we have an opportunity to advance what it is that education research can contribute to public discourse. It also means that we have an imperative, I think, to improve the way that we advance and communicate about progress that we make and what it is that education research contributes um, in complement to other kinds of knowledge about practice, about learning, and about instruction, and other educational questions. And we still haven't done the kind of work we need to do to advance uh, what it is we contribute, and doing that would actually enable us to grow the infrastructure and resources for our work. I think that AERA, as our premier research organization, could help in the professional development of those of us who are in the field of the ways that we're um, bringing on board new people into the field, broadening our reach about who participates in discussions that AERA sponsors. When I say who, I mean both the range of uh, cultural groups and people in our country, but also people in different kinds of education roles. And when I consider society and the importance of the education of youth, I can't see a more important problem than to find a way to move the country from what has been a really unsystematic and chancy way of delivering teaching to children to a way that's far more systematic. And the challenge there will be to do that in a way that honors and respects the diversity of views about that and of the people who have knowledge about that. And that wouldn't be an easy task. But I think it's worth the challenge because anything short of that will continue to supply to most people in this country very, very unequal teaching and education. And I think we should be bringing together the expertise we have to tackle that issue, no matter how difficult it may be.